Using the QDS built-in scheduler, you can create schedules to run a single data import-export, Hive, Spark, or Presto command, to run multiple commands sequentially via the built-in workflow option, and to run a notebook. The QDS platform also integrates with Airflow, which is a powerful platform that enables you to programmatically author, schedule, and monitor data workflows. In this video, we will focus only on the QDS built-in scheduler. The scheduler interface is fairly simple. The left panel contains the list of the scheduled jobs. The filter function allows you to filter the jobs by job ID, job name, status, etc. Here, you can view every instance of the scheduled job. This history is useful to triage errors if any, fix, and rerun a particular instance. Click the Create button to create a new schedule. Provide a scheduler name. If you leave this field blank, a system-generated ID is set as the schedule name. Tags help in grouping commands together. You can add up to six tags for the command. If you want to create a schedule for a single command, select the command type from this drop-down list and enter the command in the Query Composer. If you are creating a workflow, select Workflow from the drop-down list and click the Add Command button. Then, select the command type and enter the command. Although you have commands with a combination of multiple command types in your workflow, all the commands will be executed sequentially on a single cluster. Therefore, it is important that you choose command types that can run on a single cluster. Please note that each of these clusters is designed to process a specific workload type. If there is a mismatch in the selected cluster and command type, you may encounter warnings when compiling the workflow. For creating a schedule for notebooks, select Spark from the drop-down list and select Notebook from here. Then, select the notebook you'd like to schedule from this drop-down list. For creating a schedule for Jupyter Notebooks, select Jupyter Notebook from the drop-down list and select the notebook you'd like to schedule from here. Next, enter the number of retries and specify the time interval between the retries when a job fails in the delay field. Select the cluster on which you want to run the command. Please note that each of these clusters is designed to process a specific workload type. Also, it is important to choose the right cluster for the workload to avoid any warnings or processing errors. Multiple schedules can be configured and run on a single cluster. When QDS Scheduler runs workload, it automatically starts and auto-scales the cluster and quickly terminates it based on the workload. It provides tremendous cost savings because it automatically leverages Kubel's workload-aware capability of the cluster. The macros function under the Query Composer allows you to execute the command on a defined variable. Enter the variable name and the value, and that gets substituted in the command. Now, specify the schedule frequency and the maximum allowed timeout in the respective fields. The default command timeout duration is 36 hours. Any other value you set must be less than 36 hours. QDS checks the timeout for a command every 60 seconds. If the timeout is set for 80 seconds, the command is terminated in the next minute that is after 120 seconds. By setting this parameter, you can avoid the command from running for 36 hours. Expand advanced settings to view additional configuration options. Fair scheduling is a method of assigning resources to jobs so that all jobs get, on average, an equal share of resources. When there is a single job running, that job uses the entire cluster. When other jobs are submitted, task slots that free up are assigned to the new jobs so that each job gets roughly the same amount of CPU time. Enter the fair scheduler pool name and the number of concurrent schedules allowed. If you specify any dependency, the scheduled job will be executed only if the data is available in the database or cloud. Select Skip Missed Instances if you want to skip instances that were supposed to have run in the past. The purpose of skipping a missed schedule is when you suspend a schedule and resume it later, there will be more than one missed schedule action. In such cases, you might want to skip the earlier scheduled actions to eliminate redundant executions. Finally, select the Send Notification checkbox to receive notifications via email, Slack, PagerDuty, or Webhook for job success or failures. Once you have specified all the attributes, click Save. You can view this scheduled job on the left panel here. The schedule can be cloned, edited, stopped, and suspended.